Well, hello everybody. I'm Vicki and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm so glad to have you here today. I have made this perfect shortbread and I needed something to go on top of it. Now, if you like shortbread, stay tuned for the video on shortbread. But right now, I wanted to show you these amazing strawberries. I found their local um, Georgia strawberries and I found them at Bulldog Produce in Lakeland. And they're just absolutely the prettiest things and sweet. And I just want to thank Bulldog for having something, having some for me because this is exactly what I wanted to go on my shortbread. And I am just cutting them and I'm going to put them in a container with a couple of spoons of sweetener and I'll show you as I do it. Let's move some of this aside. This is quick and easy. Quick slice makes easy work slicing strawberries. One slice, one sliced evenly, and then that way the sweetener will coat them well. And every strawberry will be the same. Let's see. Got a couple. I'm going to leave a couple out for garnish. to cut all of the strawberries. Now I used our new stainless colander. Isn't that cute? You notice it's got the spoons all the way around it. Love a stainless colander. Okay, strawberries are in. I am going to put a tablespoon of monk fruit and a tablespoon of swerve sweetener. Good heaping tablespoon. I'm just going to gently stir them don't want to bruise the fruit. I want to turn them a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to put these in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and just let them sit. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and make the whipped cream to go on the top of this. And I'm just going to make it quick and easy in the whipped cream maker. Do you have any kids around the house? This is a job that you would love doing. That can be the official whipped cream maker. Done. Oh, it's a good workout too. I like it thick and I do put a little bit of cream of tartar in here. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I love whipped cream. Mm, that's so good. Now I'll put it all in the refrigerator and I'll be back in 30 minutes. So Wait and see what it looks like. Can't wait to have dessert tonight. Oh, 
Okay, looks like they're ready. They've been in the refrigerator for about a half an hour. And the juices are starting to come out of the strawberries. Now, actually, tomorrow, the strawberries will be even better. But I can't wait till tomorrow. I'm ready to eat some of my beautiful shortbread with strawberries on it. These out strawberries are so pretty. So we're going to take the strawberries and then just load them on top. Isn't that pretty? Now, I'm going to take our whipped cream and I didn't bring a spoon, so we're just going to use one of our measuring spoons and put a pretty dollop on the top. Now remember, this is low carb keto, but you don't have to tell anybody. It's great for the whole family. No one will even know. Strawberry shortcake with my beautiful strawberries that I picked up and fresh whipping cream and there we go. Oh and don't forget, beautiful shortbread. Shortbread recipe is done and ready and I'll be doing a video very shortly. So tag me or Leave me a comment and tell me you want the recipe for the shortbread. Come back to see me soon. Can't wait to see the end of this. this. Looks so good. Okay, come back to see me soon. Like my videos and my Facebook page. Be sure and share the videos that you like. Be sure and click on videos on my YouTube channel and see all the different videos that I've done in the past. Um, of course, it just shows you a couple of them when you open it up, but when you click videos, all of them open up. So go down and see some of the videos and share them with your friends and do me another favor. Give someone your beautiful smile today. It makes you feel good inside and you know, you just could make their day. Come back to see me soon. Bye.